Right, hello, welcome to today's video. Now, as the title suggests, this is going to be an unboxing video and I'm very shortly going to be taking out my old hot point dishwasher. Um, for those who watch the channel and know, um, this dishwasher was purchased by my grandparents just short of 30 years ago. Um, I've had it in the kitchen for the last two and a half years or so and kept it limping along. I mean, it's fairly reliable actually until the last six months or so. Um, but it's given up, I can't bother keeping it going. And I've just gone out and bought a new dishwasher, as the title says. So we're going to be taking this one out, unboxing the new one, putting it in, setting it up, and having a look at that. So there we go. It's a shame, it's a good dishwasher. I like it a lot. Um, but I can't be bothered with the hassle of it faulting all the time, resetting it off and swapping bits out. The racks are starting to rust. The plastic fascia is cracked you can just see there um the display doesn't work properly anymore and, yeah. it's done well it's a good dishwasher but i don't want reliability so there we go it's going let's get into it so i'm going to try not to get the amounting washing up on the side in camera but um yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the new one in. So I've undone the pipes just to pass them through the cupboard hole in the bottom. Plug. Uh, drain hose, I've put a spare end in to um, stop any water from flying out, so it's outside. And that is full of water, it feels very heavy to breathe. And then one dead fill hose, which has seen better days. I did replace this a couple of years ago, but um, yeah, it's not going to be. Right, so now that's out, I'm going to clean up uh, the space where the dishwasher's been. There's some crumbs and coins on the floor. Give it a sweep and then I'll bring in the new dishwasher and we can take a look at it. So this is it, the new dishwasher. It's an SGS 4HCW4CG. Uh, now this is an old stock dishwasher. It is dated November 2021, so it's been in storage a little while that's why I got it at a good price um, moving it in it's definitely heavier than the series 2 dishwashers I've sold quite a few freestanding ones um, and I noticed that this one is uh, made in Germany which I was expecting um, so that's quite nice anyway um, I'll quickly show you around the packaging and then we'll take the panels off and that's the front bar wood along the front At the back, another bar of wood. We've got a solid black inlet hose and the manual pouch is hanging down from the support. It's not got an aqua stop end um, and it's got insulation on the back. So I'll spin it back around again. We'll get the covers off and have a look. Right, let's see if I can just tear this open then. Yeah, rather easily. that from the fire pit. So there we go, we've got two edge and cornering pieces. Pillar either side at the front. Send the 
similar setup at the back. Block of wood. The end of that pillar. That's the end. Last pillar. Right, then we've got Fill hose, which is a plastic one, so it's not too easy to kink when you're pushing it back in. Don't normally like these, but I will fit it on this occasion. Pouch with the booklets in. Bosch dishwasher. And a few instructions for plumbing in. And the drain hose is there and it's clipped in the bottom of the polystyrene base. Like that. I'll spin it round, I'll get the mains lead out because it needs to come out and be pushed in like a kettle plug. And um, have a look inside and we'll lock it off this polystyrene base. been after a salt funnel for absolutely years. I'm quite impressed that that has that because the Series 2 doesn't come with that. We have a sample of Finnish Quantum. Top basket, we've got the baking tray attachment they call this where you can take the top basket out and clip it on the back um, but I don't think anybody actually uses them I think they end up in the back of cupboards and that's where they stay so now we've got some wine glass holders one set out of the way this one can go out of the way as well I don't know if that clips in any further than that so that's going to stay like that and the power lead and there's a little clip for the waste hose when it goes on to the draining plumbing on the sink. Cutlery rack. Just the one little polystyrene thing we jig on that. So we've got the cold fill hose on, drain hose is unsecured now. Just a case of pushing the mains plug in there, like that. Right, so all the water services are connected and switched on. Uh, it's just a case of turning the plug on. I'll need to fill the salt pot with water and salt and then the rinse aid with some rinse aid. So I think we'll do that first and then we can turn the dishwasher on and have a look at the programs, options, etc, etc. So additionally, being the Series 4, it's got the, the full stainless steel interior. Um, I'm not too sure how long lasting the polypropylene ones are, and I've been to them for repair jobs, so I decided, well, I'll go for a stainless steel one. So the salt pot just there. Pyrex, chuck some water in. Don't know how much it's going to take. I'll push it out in a minute when I put the salt in. There we go, right. The 
salt, which is just Tesco salt. Sorry, it's not expensive. Spares. And that is all the salt I've got on me because I filled the other one with salt and then it went wrong for the last time and I thought blow it. So I'll have to get some more in the shopping. Right, rinse say time. This is um, the good stuff to finish. So I'll pop that into here. I'm going to leave it at that. You can just see it under the tongue for the max mark. And then the tablet hopper is just there, pressed it. It slides across like the previous range of Bosch dishwashers. So I'm going to switch it on at the wall. It's all light up like a Christmas tree. Now once we've had a look at all the basic cycles, I'll have to put it in um, put it in setup mode. Um, but I will increase the water softener hard disk because where I am is very hard water. So programs in it defaults to eco, um, and that takes four hours fifty five minutes, which is ridiculous. We've got auto, which takes two hours fifteen, and that ranges between forty five and sixty five degrees. Intensive 70 takes two hours 15. Speed Perfect brings that down to one hour 40. Express 65, which is gonna be my go-to cycle. Um, I was used, always used to use uh, program four on the old one, which was a 65 degree wash without a pre-wash, and that's what this is. And I don't think you can have Speed Perfect with that. Silence, which isn't offered on the Series 2 models, I haven't got a clue how it's meant to be quiet, but I assume it washes at a slower speed for a bit longer to achieve the same result quietly. You can have speed perfect on that. Options on this side then, we've got start in for your delay start for economy 7 electric. We've got extra dry and when you're doing the setup you can put on intensive drying as a setting. I guess if you do lots of like Tupperware and things on the dishwasher, that's where that might be useful. Won't be doing that. Speed perfect. Um, their fancy way of saying time saver. And then the machine care button is the inner clean cycle that dishwasher may request to run periodically um, to clean its sides inside out at 70 degrees. Now I can't remember exactly how to do the settings, and I've not done one on a Series 4 either, so let's. Have a guess, and I'll consult my manual. Right, so that that's the drying setting. That is, I can't remember, and that is factory reset. So HO4 is the water softener. As for how you change it, that was a good guess. I'll leave it at seven. Rinse aid, I'll leave as standard. We don't want intensive drying. I can't remember what AOO is, and I don't want to reset it. So I assume you can press and hold that, and it will go out of. There we go. Let's see if it saved it. Yeah, it saved. So the book isn't very helpful when it comes to telling me which cycle to run 
first empty to clean the machine out with. So um, I'll put it on an Express 65 in just a minute. But first I thought I'd just show you inside again because I didn't really go through it in too much detail when I've taken out all the packaging. So the top basket is the cutlery basket and it does come out all the way so you can easily unload the cutlery and make full use of it and it's not half sheltered by the lid. So it does come out all the way, you can make full use of it. If you're going to wash taller things like wine glasses it will come out the way. And off it's two runners just like that. And refitting's fairly straightforward too. The upper basket. I said these are folding supports for wine glass necks. You can't see that. They come down like so and clip in one way or another. I'm not going to bother with those. And the height of this can be adjusted by using the two paddles on the side of the upper rack. The lower rack then, obviously because this is the model with the upper cutlery tray, um, we haven't got the cutlery basket in there taking up space. We've got two full rows of prongs. The back two sets can be folded down if you're going to put in big pots and pans. We, we've got an air fryer and quite often we put the bucket from that in the dishwasher in that corner. So that'll be quite good and fold it down and have done with it. Whether it's meant to be dishwashers and matter entirely, but there you go. And then at the back we've got some additional things that fold out. Don't know if they're shelves and knives or... Oh, there's some glasses pictured underneath or pictured on the back of the plastic okay then so we're going to go for an express 65 wash just to clean the machine out so it's a case of pressing the correct cycle button um, I think you are you are paying for the buttons and the stainless steel tank on the series four um, and series two is to press and wind along and that's quite it's a bit time consuming a bit faffy but hey so one hour the controls go solid to indicate the start has been pressed and registered <laughs> There's the old one waiting to go outside. So there we go. I'm not going to film this going through an hour of a solid door and display counting down. I think you get the idea. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you find it useful. Any questions, please let me, well, let me know and I can try and answer the best I can. If it's a technical one especially um, and I'll probably make a video at some point in the future on how we're getting on with it and the general performance likes and dislikes so yeah stay tuned for that until then goodbye